So we're here today with Ricky Block from Strategic Innovations talking about the Falcon Eye KC2000, possibly one of the most amazing, if not the most amazing, low light camera I think I've ever actually seen. Ricky, um, tell us a little bit about the KC2000. One of the main features of this camera is the size of the CMOS sensor. Yep. So a conventional low light camera will have a sensor that's normally one third of an inch. In this instance, you've got a two thirds inch sensor, uh, which actually allows for four times the image sensor, uh, sensitivity. So what that means is you can use this camera in daytime. You can also use it in nighttime as in light as low as starlight, and you'll still get color images. So now I've seen some of the previews of the footage that this camera has caught, and I'm not kidding. If you if you don't believe me, go to the website, which we'll put up at the end of this video. But you would swear that they were actually shooting in daylight. It's it's just incredible the distance that we can capture with this particular camera. Are we limited by the sensor or is it just dependent on the lens? I mean, I read that it was somewhere between, it had an effective range of between about 500 and 1,000 metres. It depends mainly on the lens. So uh, probably the examples that you've seen are, are using a fairly high powered lens, which has got a 60 times optical magnification. Um, I've tested that personally at, at distances up to 1500 metres across Sydney Harbour and still getting incredible results. Um, they've tested it to over two kilometres and one of the videos um, that we'll put on the link will show that as well. So you, you're really limited by the hardware that you put in front of the um, camera as much as what the camera is doing behind. Yeah. Now this, the thing that makes this camera so special, it's not your standard run of the mill image intensifier is it? That's right. So generally you will see uh, an image intensifier on a night vision goggle which will give you, you know, blown out green image, um, you know, white, white and green if you will. And this will give you colour, you know, that's the main difference. And what the manufacturer has done, um, they've done a heap of work on the back end to reduce the noise. So if you were to look with a conventional uh, camera, you know, a camera that's well suited to daytime and use it at night, um, as I'm sure you're well aware, the image gets very grainy and unusable once you get, you know, to not even that low light really. Yep. Um, so you don't have that occur here. And one of the things this camera does really well is compensates for light changes as well. So if you were focusing on an area where there was uh, a fair amount of light, the camera would do, do adjustments automatically so that you can focus on that. And then if you shift it into an area that's darker, the camera will also adjust to accommodate for that light. Now, I believe it's pretty robust in that the entire body's machined from a single billet of, of aircraft grade aluminium. Yep. But Really, you don't have to be a genius to use it. It's, it's tough, it's fairly simple to use. What kind of applications would I use this sort of camera in? Sure, so anything security related at night is the way I would pitch it. You know, if you, you imagine you're doing a perimeter, uh, perimeter style security, um, you're going and, and surveying what's happening out there in the dark. At the moment, you can't see a whole heap. You have this in your fleet, you'd be able to. Um, surveillance, um, this particular model's set up with a battery, so it'll run for five hours. Um, recording wow. continuously. They also do another variation which is more a CCTV style camera um, which you know you could have plugged in basically to the wall and run it continuously. And I notice you've got a, um, a direct HDMI out on Correct. the back here so you can actually run it straight out to a, an external recorder? Correct. Yep, yep or uh, depending on what infrastructure you've got on the back end we've tested um, to relay that message um, over the air with, with some other proprietary um, products that are you know, readily available. Um, yep. Also on board there's an SD card recorder, so you can take yep. still footage, uh, or sorry, still images as well as, as um, full frame video. Okay, so yeah, and I guess that in the back here you can see there's the, the SD card recorder, which will, and just having a look at the controls here, obviously you've got your mic in for, with the hot shoe there for an external mic. If you yep. wanted to add something like either a normal shotgun or even I guess a parabolic mic if you wanted to for yep. long range type stuff with headphones, DC power in, but here, on the side, you've got both video and photo. So this is a stills camera as well. Correct. Yeah, so uh, when you're talking about using it as, uh, you know, as full frame video, it's 1280 by 720, yep. um, which translate to just under one megapixel. So if people want to find out more about the camera? Uh, two things they can do, go on our website, um, which I'm sure we'll put a link for, yep. um, or contact me directly. We're the, we're the in-country um, distributor for this product. So if you want to find out more, go to the Strategic Innovations website, which you'll see below right now, uh, or give Ricky a call. And honestly, check out the videos. This thing is absolutely amazing.